Having seen two years of refinement since the last time we swatted at it, I believe this pesky and big bugger should swoop on down to our minds once again. Not so much for any grand revelation or anything, but let's just say that Passbeard was a bit too quick to release a couple of info dumps to ya, and he wants to correct that. Plus, we'll even be buzzing about with additional topics regarding fruit flies themselves to boot. So let's discuss. After we enter the world of farming for a time, that is. A world that many still don't even bother to touch nowadays. Before you see, none of the fleas seen today will be seen elsewhere, as they're all tied to crops, even rotting ones. Teensy tiny fruit flies have a whopping 5% chance to spawn via picking rotted farm plots as seen here. However, two Two are absolutely guaranteed to pop out of giant rotting crops instead, which is far more noteworthy than you might think. Typically, fruit flies are harmless, and at only 100 health, they're nothing to worry about in most cases, and they might even drop a C 10% of the time. But if fruit flies are able to interact with open soil and or farm plants themselves, they will turn hostile, dealing 5 damage each in the process mind. All that said, if you do actually mine them for a time, fruit flies can be used to create huge weed plots in seconds, as each fly is actually able to plant wheat as seen here once again. And trust me, this here is incredibly advantageous. Be mindful though, any fruit fly spawned in any fashion will also reduce the happiness of any actual farm plot that they find, so be sure to use and eventually murder them strategically to avoid distress. Literally in this case. But if we're truly talking irky insects, then I guess we should finally nail down how the Lord of the Fruit Fly actually spawns. Yes, the thing can only fall from the heavens if we the players are nearby enough to see 15 or more crops grow to their final stages and if the world is on or beyond day 35. More specifically even, we must see the 15th crop in a group reach its full growth. All that said, any rotted crop leading up to day 35 will actually reduce the Lord's timer by half a day, so it is entirely possible to force a Lord spawn much, much earlier. So make notes. But why would we want to do such a thing considering that the Lord is technically a mini-boss of sorts? Well, probably not for the one piece of leafy meat that we're gonna get even if the stuff has gotten amazing since the fly was first introduced. However, another bug that happens to be behind the bigger bug is gonna be making it up to us, I feel. With a Lord of the Fruit Flies dead, not only will we be able to pick up the friendly fruit fly fruit here, the friendly fruit fly itself will become a new friend of ours. A friend that will be able to follow us to our automatically tend to every farm plant nearby it to keep plants happy for all times. Meaning that all's will need to do is water and fertilize the suckers. It's good stuff. Just as long as nothing kills the thing at the end of the day. If so though, the fruit will spoil to rot in about 6 days and then we'll have to wait another 20 days for another lord to spawn if no other crops have rotted before then. As yes, the rotted plots mechanic still applies to additional lord of the fruit flies. To continue though, all Lord of the Fruit Flies now also drop crop seeds upon their death and have a chance to drop even more depending on the season itself. I must admit, however, that I don't entirely know if the seasons actually impact the type of seeds dropped. However, I can say that any additional seeds beyond the usual four have a 25% chance to drop regardless, so there you go. But if anybody does have the exacts here, we would love to hear them. But to truly end the day, let us talk the Lord of the Fruit Flies itself, yes. When spawned, it will have a chance to plant its own weeds in free soil itself, or it will turn its attention to us immediately with its respectable 1500 health and 25 damage a snap. It's not to be trifled with idly. It will also spawn up to 4 fruit flies itself after a time, but don't worry, they are still not hostile. In fact, considering how annoying it is to kite the lord over and over and over again, as it happens to kite us back as you can see, it might actually be better to kill one or two of these fruit flies to cause the guy to spawn more for some free damage opportunities over and over and over again. 
For you see, the Lord of the Fruit Flies frequently quote unquote dances, and these are prime times to get in two to three hits in ourselves, so be ready for them. Don't worry if you mess it up now and then, mind, as the bugger is a pain even for us veterans. Be warned as well, though, that while Fruit Flies are supposed to turn hostile once their Lord is dead, they occasionally don't for whatever reason. Just be prepared for it regardless. And note one last thing too, the Lord of the Fruit Flies cannot be driven far from its initial spawn point, so you're going to have to deal with them soon enough. If you're having trouble all around, bring friends, be them real or in game. But there you have it everyone, an admittedly very random revisit on the Lord of the Fruit Flies and Fruit Flies themselves, but it was one that absolutely needed to be done for sure. The video from two years ago is way out of date and far too long, so hopefully today's showcase fixed both of those things. I'd still love to know the very specifics of the seed drops however. Thanks for watching folks, well wishes to all, and I'll See you in the next one. Bye-bye.